Hello there, two viewers, and welcome to a new video from Games Matters. So, in this video, I'm showing you how you can root the HTC Evo 3D smartphone, GSM, and CDMA version. Now, this phone is for my friend. It's running at HBoot 1.53.000.7. So, guys, let's begin. Okay guys, so after downloading the files, you'll have adb slash fastboot, htc drivers, and the third file, rooting super user, which is the rooting file. This thing put it aside because it's the last part. Okay guys, so the first step is installing htc drivers. Double click on it and follow the instructions. I have already installed this, so I'm not going to do that again. Now, on the ADB fastboot file, double click on it. Go to my computer, C drive. Create a new folder and name that folder ADB. Now, ignore, the, ignore these two files. Drag all of these files in here. Good. Make sure HC drivers are installed. Alright guys, after you did the steps on the computer, Remove your back cover, remove your battery, and wait, then put it back. Put your cover back. Now vo uh, hold the volume down and the power button. Keep holding them. Alright, hold on a second. So, now watch you, hold on a second, the screen wants to get brighter, hold on, yes, anyway, you can see here, here it should say locked, but since I have relocked this phone, it sh it's going to say here locked in your phone, bring your device, hold on a second, alright, click, click the, click the power button, Good. Now, bring your USB cable. Connect it to your phone. Now you hear the sound. Now, if HD drivers are installed, you will see fastboot USB. So, on your computer, click the start button. Go to CMD. Type in CD. C two point slash. ADB, click enter. Tap in fast boot devices. Click enter. You should see here some your serial number. If you see that, that means your phone is connected 100%. Alright, guys, now go to hcdev.com and make and register in it. Then log in with your account. Unlock bootloader. Get started. Now here click on select your device. For the EVO 3D there's three versions, EMEA, Rogers and Sprint. Let me tell you more. Sprint is the CDMA version, EMEA is the GSM version. So select one of these two, don't select Sprint. I'm gonna select EMEA. Click unlock bootloader. Are you wish to continue? Now make sure to read this thing, click yes. I have read it before, lots of times. I accept, I accept. Proceed to unlocking instructions. I have bought my, uh, my, fr uh, my friend's phone is from the Middle East. Anyway, click proceed to step 5. Skip these steps. Scroll down again, click proceed to step 8. Now, see here 5.OM get identified token. Now copy this one. Copy, then go down. Now. Go to your CMD window, make sure your phone is connected to your computer, and fast boot mode. Paste this code, click enter. Now you will get a bunch of codes, so right click, click mark. 
select all of these play all of this area then click enter now paste it in here submit good so now when you want to create your account you should enter an email now go to your email that you have created alright guys let's see unlock bootloader download it now it should be named as unlock code now copy this thing or move it to your ADD folder paste it in there alright guys I'm here back now on your phone in here it is so fast to load what you need to type in here so you can unlock your bootloader ok there was a space so once, once you click enter go, go back to your phone you'll see here hold on a second because there is no other focus in Samsung Galaxy Notes anyway unlock the bootloader now make sure to read this before you unlock your bootloader click volume up to select the yes now yes is in the green in here you can see it actually sorry for that anyway then click the power button to select yes now make sure you go up then click the power button now your bootloader is unlocked so now go back to your computer alright guys now go to your browser go to clockworkmod.com go to ROM manager scroll down to select your EVO 3D there's GSM CDMA for CDMA download this one for GSM download this one please don't don't mix them up. So GSM, this is 5.0.2.1. Click in here, and it's gonna be downloaded. Now I have that file already. Now this is the file. It's gonna be downloaded. Now once the file is done, rename it and call it REC, or call it any name. But we need to REC. Is, I recommend using that because that's the code I'm gonna flash. So here you type in. Fast boot flash recovery rec dot img. Now go back to your phone. All right, guys, I'm back in here, and on your phone, uh, go to fast boot. Remove your back cover. Remove the battery for three seconds, then put it back. You just remove the battery and put it back. Volume down, power button. Then you should enter fastboot. So now we are going to enter xboot, so which is the bootloader. You can now, if you read here, unlocked. Now here in the purple, it should say unlock. Click the volume button. All right, guys. So it's here on the fastboot mode. Here we have typed in the command. Fastboot flash recovery rec.img. Now just go back before uh, now. Here, um, here you should see a green icon. A uh, green thing is gonna go up. So click enter. Wait, it's the travel the recovery. And we are done. Alright guys, so now here's my device. I have just booted up after uh, after flashing the recovery. Now I forgot to tell you that this thing is gonna erase all of your data, so don't be don't be shocked. Now let's flash the rooting super user. Now yes guys, sorry. Before you turn off your device, copy the rooting super user file to your memory card. To do that, just connect your cable and select uh, disk drive instead of charge only. So now let's go into fast boot. No, sorry, let's go into the boot loader so we can boot the recovery. Volume down to select recovery, power button down. Now we are booting into the recovery. 
Okay, guys. So, camera is for select. Volume down, volume up is to go down and up. Up, uh, power button is to go back. So, go down, down, down to install the IP from SD card. Click the camera button. Choose the IP from SD card. Click the camera button. Now go down to Runix per user. It's gonna be maybe the last file. Click the camera button. Yes. And here we go. The Runix per user, the per user has been installed. Let's go back. Go down to not select your boot system now. So now your phone is gonna boot. Once it boots, I'm gonna show you the the super user. So now your phone is fully rooted with CWM recovery and unlocks everything you need. So here's the cat. It's your preview. Fast portion of the video from Games Matrix. Please don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and like this video. Share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.